Hi everyone. In the history of microbiology, we started off discussing about different scientists and their contributions in the field of microbiology. In this video, we are going to discuss about Mr. Louis Pasteur or Louis Pasteur who lived from 1822 to 1895. Pasteur's contributions to the development of microbiology are enormous and he may be rightly called as the father of microbiology. Louis Pasteur was born in the year 1822 on December 27 in the village of Dole in France. He was a French chemist and microbiologist. His father was a tanner. His studies on fermentation led him to take the world of interesting microorganisms. And because of uh, several reasons, as I told you, he was going to be called as a father of microbiology. And he coined the term microbiology, vaccine. And he was the first one who created the vaccine for rabbit disease. And he is going to be regarded as one of the three main founders of microbiology. Who are the other two? One is Ferdinand Koch and another one is a Robert Koch. So Louis Pasteur, Ferdinand Koch and the Robert Koch together we call them as the three main founders of the microbiology subject. He also made many discoveries in the field of chemistry notably asymmetry of crystals that means regarding the tartaric acid okay and then in 1860 to 1861 he provided strong evidence to disprove the theory of a spontaneous generation theory with his elegant experiment by using a special flask called as swan neck flask or goose neck flask or it is also called as pasture flask. So what he done in order to conclusively disprove the spontaneous generation theory, pasture invented this flask. This flask allows free entrance of air while all dust and contaminants settle at the uh, here the bend of the neck that means they are going to settle in this bend okay and this broth was heated so heated broth in this flask uh, remains micro free if the broth was tipped into the neck and flown back microbes appear in the broth so this experiment finally dispelled the theory of spontaneous generation theory. So here you can see, so he has taken a flask and uh, there is a movement of the air. So there will be no chance of uh, telling that the microbes did not get the air. That's why they died because the air is free flowing. So it was kept like that, but no bacteria is present after the growth also. So here the heat is applied. That means the broth is heated and we had removed the neck of it so immediately bacteria present in the broth then in the third uh, thing what he done is he heated the uh, broth that he has taken and he tilted the flask so what happens it is going to uh, uh, what happens the neck containing this bacteria is going to enter into this broth and you are able to see the growth of the bacteria so that's how he said that the air is carrying some part of uh, spores or the bacteria in the dust so when they enter into the media they are going to grow otherwise they are not going to grow that means here the spontaneity is not occurring in the broth by itself the air is going to carry some particles so that's how he disproved the theory of spontaneous generation theory by his elegant experiment called as goose neck flask experiment or pasture neck flask experiment or swan neck flask experiment. Louis Pasteur is one of the person to recognize the biological functions of microbes. He proved all the fermentation process or the result of microbial activity while uh, uh, what we uh, tell that he experimenting with the wine. So Pasteur observed the microscope, yeast cells and some bacteria which are responsible for this wine fermentation. In series of experiments, he showed that grape juice yeast mixture turns into alcohol. He killed the yeast cells by applying heat and showed that alcohol is not formed in grape juice. 
When yeast are again added, alcohol formation reappears. Thus, he showed that the bacteria are responsible for turning the wine. Wine or okay so then he also showed that the spoilage of the wine is also due to microorganisms and he introduced a new process of sterilization to preserve wine fruit juices milk etc and that process is called as pasteurization now uh, that is now widely employed in dairies was originally devised by mr pasher to prevent the spoilage of wine and beer at that time Pasher demonstrated the silkworm disease was caused by microscopic germs, that is, uh, especially protozoans, okay, and developed the preventive measures. That's how he saved the silkworm industry in France. That means, in 1865, uh, while Pasher was asked to find the cause of uh, pebrine, a disease uh, affecting silkworms, Pasher demonstrated that the disease was caused by the protozoans. And by choosing microbe-free egg for breeding, the disease could be controlled. So this was a significant step towards the establishment of germ theory of disease and even the rabies. In 1881, he developed live attenuated vaccines. And in 1870, he applied the immunization method to control the anthrax disease and he developed the rabies vaccine too. And uh, he also discovered the aerobic and anaerobic microbes. That means the microbes that require oxygen are going to be called as uh, aerobes. Since animals require oxygen for growth, scientists in the middle of 19th century assumed that microbes also require oxygen. However, Pasha's study of process of uh, some fermentations like butyric acid revealed the microorganisms can survive in the absence of oxygen also. And he coined those uh, oxygen-free growing microorganisms as anaerobes. So who coined the term anaerobe is nothing but Mr. Pasture, which refers to the organisms that do not require oxygen. So these are all the uh, several uh, different types of contributions, discoveries that was uh, done by Mr. Louis Pasher. And in 1888, Pasher Institute was established in Paris. During his lifetime for investigation of infectious diseases and the preparation of vaccines, he was honored with several awards. And Pasher died in Paris on 1895 on September 28th. His body was led in this Pasher Institute. So here is a picture of a Pasher Institute in Paris that you can see. And this is a term of uh, Mr. Louis Pasher. So that's how, because of all these uh, tremendous contributions that was uh, done by Mr. Louis Pasher, we are going to consider him as a father of microbiology. Let's have a glance of all the contributions. Number one, tartaric acid where he said the asymmetry and symmetry and then discovery of microbial fermentation then disproving the theory of spontaneous generation theory by gooseneck class, gross neck class and then discovery of aerobic and anaerobic microbes then warm silk uh, disease was uh, removed by him by uh, telling some sort of preventive measures and he also uh, found out the a causative agent of this warm silk silkworm disease that is pebrine disease and he worked on the anthrax disease and the rabies disease and he found the vaccines against it and even the most important one is the pasteurization technique which was widely used in the dairy industries in nowadays okay so these are all the main uh, enormous contributions that was done by mr louis pasha so that's all about mr louis pasha thank you